Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for your prayers. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the hearts. Hallelujah. Amen. It's mercy endures forever. Praise God. Hello, hello. I'm here. I'm off work. I'm at the parking lot. My daughter, she went shopping and, um, I'm just sitting in my car and it's raining here in Louisville, Kentucky. And um, I just want to let you all know that no matter what's going on in your life, how many of y'all know that Jesus is your anchor? Can some of y'all type up yes or all of y'all should type up yes that Jesus is your anchor? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Is there some other people on here that believe that Jesus is your anchor? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the wind and the storms is in your life, remember that Jesus is your anchor. Hallelujah. We have to hold on to the hands of God. Hold on to the hands of God. In the spirit. Hallelujah. No matter what's going on. We need to hold on. To the unchanging hand of God. Because see. We change. As humans. But God is the same today. And every day. And forevermore. Amen. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. And right now, I'm here, and it's raining, amen, and the storm is just, it's, it's, it's flowing right now, if y'all can see the rain, hallelujah, it's thundering in the rain, no matter what's going on, no matter what's going on, Jesus is still sit high and he looks low, amen, when the, when the winds and the rain and the snow and all that's going on in your life, Hallelujah. I hear the Spirit of the Lord said, just take cover. Hold on, Take cover. Take cover. Take cover. Hallelujah. Take cover. Because the Word of God says that God is our shield and buckler. Hallelujah. In Psalms 91, He's our shield and buckler. Hallelujah. I'm preaching. The anointing of God is on me. And for those that don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I invite you to receive him today. Amen. Amen. And for those that knows about the storms that's in your life, and those that's, that's going through and, and, and going through, you know, financial problems and health problems and, and um, headaches and anything that's just coming up against your boat. Amen. That's a storm. Amen. So, you know, God is good. Amen. And all the time he's good. Amen. I know when we say that God is good, I know we don't feel it a lot of times because we're going through. But that's when the faith needs to be activated. That's when your faith needs to come in. Amen. That's when your faith needs to be activated. That's when you need to speak those things as not as though they were. Amen. Because... Christians, those that have a relationship with God, we say amen. That means we agree to everything that God has promised us and everything that God has done in our lives. That's why we say amen. Amen is, is the ending of everything that God says, and we believe it. And we believe it. That's why we say amen. That's why we say amen. Because we believe in God and we believe in his remember word. We believe that he's a healer. We believe that he's a deliverer and he died on the cross and he's alive now and well. Hallelujah. He's alive and he speak well. I don't know anything about Muslims, but I'm not here to come up against any other religion. But I'm going to say this. When I was going through, the only person that spoke to me was Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus, the only one that spoke to me. 
Jesus is the only one that saved me. Jesus spared my life many times. Jesus spared my children's lives. Come on here. Jesus has done a whole lot for me. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to choose me. But he chose me. Hallelujah. And I give him the glory for everything that he's doing. And I'm not ashamed of my God. Hallelujah. Because I know who I serve and whom I serve. Hallelujah. Jesus speaks to me just like I'm speaking to you. Hallelujah. He only speaks to those that has an ear. Hallelujah. Those that has an ear, let them hear the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Come on here. Amen. People can say what they want to say about Jesus Christ. But God is only going to reveal himself to those that want him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People want to make up gods all day long. But um, the God that I serve is real. He's alive. He's well. Hallelujah. When I pray and I give God my all, he shows up in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. He deliver my body. Hallelujah. He make a way when it seems to be no way. Come on here. Oh, I'm getting stirred up now. Hallelujah. Because there's some people on this prayer scope that don't know Jesus. Hallelujah. You keep following. Hallelujah. You would know who Jesus is. Amen. I'm not going by what people say i'm going by the relationship that i have with the lord amen he's the only god that i know i'm not i'm not talking about what's in some books the only book i know is the bible hallelujah and the bible and there's other bibles that god has amen because if god put everything in the bible that we have today amen it will be too heavy for us to carry amen so you see what i'm saying those that seek the lord Amen. He will renew your strength. Those that seek the Lord, he will appear himself to you. The Bible says, test me to know that I'm God. If there's some people that's in, in this world, and there's some people that's on Periscope right now that don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, I test you to test them. Test God and try him. He said in his word, test me to know that I am God. Test him. Call on Jesus. I promise you, he will reveal himself to you. He will reveal himself to you. Amen. Because one thing about it, and I say this all the time, you do not want to die without him. Hallelujah. You don't want to die without him. I don't care who you are, what you call yourself. You better not close your eyes without him. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because I'm telling you, God got a place for everybody. If you believe in him or not. Come on. Come on. That's right. That's right. Tiger your form if I said your name right. I'm going to die with you. That's right. That was my daughter. That's right. God got a, God got a place for everybody. And even for those that don't receive the Lord. Okay. God, that's a place for you too. That's a place for you too. For those that don't want to receive the Lord. But God said in his word, he don't want no man to perish. He don't want no man to perish, but to have everlasting life. That's what he said. How many of you all want everlasting life? And we're not talking about when you die and make it to heaven. We, we already know God got a place for us when we get where we're going. But how many of you all want everlasting life now? How many of you all want everlasting life now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Many will be deceived in this hour. Many. Many will be deceived in this hour. I hear the Spirit of the Lord. And that's a sad day. And that's the trick of the enemy. Because in the book of 2 Thessalonians, it speaks about people being deceived. Amen. That they chose to receive a lie. But God will give you a chance to make it right so you won't have to receive that lie. But it's going to get so bad. Amen. Ain't nothing else God can do but allow them just to continue to keep believing a lie. Reading the book of 2 Thessalonians. By God said in his word that he want no man to perish. No man to perish. And I don't understand why people want to perish when God done died on the cross for us to live. We're alive today because of him. We're able to get up and not wipe my ass, go to work, got a roof over our head, food to eat. Don't you know how many people wish they was in our shoes right now? How many people wish they was in our shoes right now? Even in the midst of what we're going through, people are wishing they was in our shoes right now. And their anger is the power of the Holy Ghost. 
When you don't know God, you're not going to understand the spirit of God. That's why it's important to get to know him. Amen. Because when you're not in the spirit of God, you're not going to understand the things of God. The carnal mind can't understand the things of God. Because the Bible says the carnal mind is death. Amen. God don't have anything to do when it comes to flesh. God is not an angry God. God is a loving God. But God is a God that does judge. God does judge. And right now in this season, the hour, he's separating the wheat from the tear. Come on. Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. God is good. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, woman of God. We all must get to know God for ourselves. Amen. Every last one of us. And you know, a lot of people not going to receive. A lot of people not going to receive from me. And I can preach, holler, shout, however God move. A lot of people just not going to receive. Because also in the word of God, you know, people going to reject Christ. And that's the sad part. So many people going to reject Christ. And I don't know why. When everything that God said in his word is right there. Everything he said in his word is right in front of our face. Amen. Thank you. Everything that God said in his word is right in our faces. And I don't understand why people don't want to receive him. Amen. Yes, I do speak in tongues. And I believe in the power of tongues. Amen. And a lot of people even come up against that. The gift of tongues. The gift of tongues is heavenly language. Sometimes I'm meant to interpret. Sometimes you're not going to interpret. And then the moment you start speaking in tongues, where's the interpreter? Well, the word of God says that sometimes you're not going to be able to interpret. And if you're going to speak in tongues when you're in the congregation, amen, it's okay to speak in tongues among yourselves. And like with me, when I speak in tongues, God do speaks to me when I speak in tongues. So he does use me to interpret my own tongues that he gives me. Amen. What you do, woman of God, you want to pray and ask God to give you the gift of tongues. That's the first thing, because I don't know if you have the gift of tongues or not. You pray, you ask God to give you the gift of tongues. Amen. Because if that's a desire of yours, you already have it. You just have to tap into it and pray and ask God to give you the gift of tongues. Amen. And once you begin to start speaking in your heavenly language, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say he wants you to practice it. Once you start speaking in tongues, start practicing and what God meant by practicing it, that means you need to start spending time with God in your prayer and speaking in tongues. Amen. And once, once the rivers in your belly start flowing, the rivers of living water, once the tongues start flowing in your belly out of your mouth, amen, then in your another personal time in prayer, you ask God to give you the interpreter of tongues. Help, ask God to help you interpret the tongues that you speak. Amen. So, you know, you have so many people say so many things, amen, but without the wisdom and the power of God, how can we, you know, tap into the things of the Lord? And then a lot of things, you know, a lot of people, you know, not teaching, you know, we're supposed to be teaching people. You know, the different gifts and how they operate and things like that. Anytime, email me, woman of God. Um, SylviaGooseBeGmail.com If anybody else have any questions About the Holy Spirit or scriptures And things like that, email me Amen um, A lot that I have learned in church But a lot I learned from the Lord First of all, in the spirit As far as going through and different warfare In the spirit and had to learn how to fight You know, demons in the spirit And, and, and um, praying You know, a lot that God has taught me You know, because God would teach you God will teach you the kingdom. He will teach you everything that you need to know as you begin to start walking with God. And God's going to meet you where you are. You know, that's another thing a lot of preachers and pastors don't say. You know, God will meet you right where you are. And he will walk with you. He will teach you. Amen. And then you begin to start praying that God will send the right people your way that's going to help you get to where you need to go. Amen. If anybody have any prayers or anything before I get off of here. I'm going to go ahead and um, pray with you. Amen. And the rain, like I said, it's raining here in Louisville, Kentucky. 
Because a lot of people that don't really get into the Holy Spirit, nine times out of ten, they're not where they need to be themselves. Or they trying to shield and hide away from it. But you can't hide away from the Holy Spirit, you know. And I don't know why people don't want to be preaching and teaching about the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the Lord. I will pray for strength, charisma. Anybody else have any prayer requests? I'm going to pray with you all before um, I get off of here. There's a lot of churches that's not teaching on the Holy Spirit. And then when they do, they're not even tapping. They're not even really tapping to the surface of it. You know, it's like they, they, I hear you Holy Ghost. I hear you Jesus speaking to me. It's like they only preach and teach on the outer core of the Holy Ghost. But they're not tapping into the deep of the Holy Ghost when it comes to, to the characteristics of the Holy Spirit, which is the Lord, and the different gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I'm going to go ahead and pray with you all. If anybody else have any prayer requests, type it up for me before I close out. Amen. Amen. I know exactly where you're coming from. Lord, speak it to me. Amen. And we are in the season of power where we need the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Because without the Holy Spirit, you know, we can't make it. We wouldn't know. We wouldn't have a sense of direction of where God's taking us. We wouldn't even know what to do if we didn't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. And there's nothing wrong with praying about the Holy Ghost. There's nothing wrong with praying and wanting to receive the Holy Ghost. There's nothing wrong with praying about the gifts. Because if you have a desire, that means God already put it in you. You just need to tap into it in the spirit. And sometimes you need someone to help you, which the Holy Spirit is going to do the work. But someone that's going to instruct you and tell you the truth when it comes to the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for charisma, Lord. I pray for her strength and her guidance, Father God. I pray that you get her strength and her body and her mind, Lord. Only you know what she's going through in this hour in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we pray for a hedge of protection around her, God. You said, Father God, that you are our strength, Father God, when we don't have any. And right now, Lord, she needs your strength right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for the other woman of God. She wants to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So, Father, we pray, God, that you will fill her with the Holy Spirit and with the fire of tongues in the name of Jesus. Give her the fire of tongues in the name of Jesus. And after you have filled her with the Holy Spirit, you have equipped her with the gift of tongues. Father, she also, Lord, wants the interpret of tongues. She wants to know what you're saying to her as she speak in tongues. Hallelujah. So, Father, you know the prophetic anointing. You know the prophetic order that you have for her to receive the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because you said in your word in the book of Timothy that the Holy Spirit is the teacher of all things. So, Lord, we thank you. We honor you, Father God, in the name of Jesus for being our teacher and teaching us what we need to know, Father God. Deal with her in the midnight hour, Lord, concerning this gift that she's desiring to have. If there's anybody else on Periscope that wants to be filled with the Holy Ghost, I pray right now that you will fill them with the Holy Ghost, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Stir up the gifts in everybody that's on Periscope right now in the name of Jesus. Father, give them the teaching spirit, which is you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, teach your people on Periscope your ways. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you, Lord. And we just honor you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And another thing you can do, woman of God, or whoever else want to receive what I just prayed. You know, um, look up the different scriptures about the Holy Spirit. Amen. And get to know the characteristics of the Holy Spirit in the Lord. Amen. Uh, for scripture. And, um, and the Lord will begin to start showing you. His, his spirit and his characteristics in the spirit as you begin to seek the Lord when it comes to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And this is one of the things that the Lord, you know, this is one of the things that the Lord want us all to have. He want us all to be filled with the Holy Spirit because he is the Holy Spirit. Amen. When Jesus died, he came back to life. Amen. Raised on the third day, he came back to the disciples and he told the disciples, amen, that he was going to, um, Send a comforter. And the comforter is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, it's okay. You can catch the replay, sissy. Amen. You can catch the replay. And y'all just share this scope on every for every you know to everybody. Amen. 
And I will pray for your mom. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for Carissa's mother, Father God. We pray for healing in her body. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we pray that you will send minister angels her way, Lord, and touch her mama's body. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Having pain in our body is not easy, Father God. And we know that through life, we all then experience some form of sickness and weaknesses in our body. So we just pray for your strength right now, Lord. And we pray for her mother's strength, Father, when it comes to her healing. In the name of Jesus, that you give her all the strength that she needs. And we thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If anybody else have any prayer requests, amen. Go ahead and type it up for me. In the name of Jesus. And I'm going to pray for chapter 45. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just pray. Okay. All right. Give me an update about that, Sissy49. Uh, Email me an update about that. I think you sent me your number. I'm, I'm going to have to call you because I haven't had a chance to call you. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Sissy's kidneys and her legs, Father God. Father, I hear you, Holy Ghost. We know that her kidneys and her legs is weak, Father God. We pray for strength in her kidneys and her legs. In the name of Jesus, Father, you have the power to restore. You have the power to heal in the name of Jesus. Um, Sissy, do you drink a lot of cranberry juice? Amen. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that God start drinking more cranberry juice and the Lord is going to detox your body. Hallelujah. In the spirit, the Lord's going to detox your body. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, you begin to do a healing in her body as you started. But I'm picking up in the spirit that she, her, her kidneys are getting weak in her legs. The Lord has given me that about you, sissy, that your um, body is getting weak. And we just come up against the enemy right now in the name of Jesus because Last time you talked to me, your kidneys was going up two points when we was praying for you. And the enemy want to try to attack your body. We bind that up in the name of Jesus. We bind it up in the name of Jesus. You have to read Psalms 91 over yourself, sissy. Amen. You got to fight for your healing, woman of God. Amen. And get those healing scriptures and start reading them healing scriptures. Get them healing scriptures. By him stripes I'm healed. Start reading those healing scriptures. Start listening to healing scriptures. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And God love you too. Uh, real Beyonce. Start reading those healing scriptures. Amen. Start. Yes. Yes. Because I was going through warfare. Amen. 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 Start reading those healing scriptures. Amen. Read this. Start reading those healing scriptures. Those healing the lamp of oil and start reading those healing scriptures in your body. I'm going through an attack in my body as well. And a lot of times I know when it's being sent by the enemy, of course, the enemy tackles off. And then sometimes someone around me that's connected to me is going through something in their body. Amen. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just releasing healing in the name of Jesus. I just bind up the spirit of addiction and drugs in the name of Jesus. Off of people's families in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just pray that you will snatch people out of the enemy. Snatch people away from the enemy in the name of Jesus. Snatch them out of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. We come up against every attack of the devil in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't want to miss nobody. So if I'm going back and forth, I'm trying to remember everything that people are typing up. So Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Amen. Heal your, heal your people. Heal bodies, God, in the name of Jesus. Let the fire be in the camp in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's right, golden lamp of oil. That's right. Just like you said, Lord, shut your people in this hour. That's right. Amen. In this hour, people are hungry for you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. People need to know your power, God. You are real. A lot of times, God just need a vessel. God just need someone that's going to stand in the gap so he can so he can pour his glory through. Amen. Even though God don't need no help. Amen. But he designed it that way. He designed it that way. So we can all tap into the gifts that God has within us so we can help many of people, amen, and reach people wherever they need to be reached in the name of Jesus, amen. 
We all know it's not about us. We know it's not about us. But God really want to reach people. Amen. But God is waiting on us a lot of times. Amen. He's waiting on us. Amen. To pull the glory down so it can be manifested upon the earth. Amen. There's so many people that's going astray. There's so many people that's just, just being tossed to and fro. Not because the devil is allowing them to do it. Because they opened up the door for the enemy to do it in their lives. A lot of people allowing them to do it because they don't want to let go of sin. And they don't want to let go of the things of the world. Amen. God is always, always available. Amen. He's always available. Amen. We have to make ourselves available. I know we get tired, I know we work and we go to school, and, and you know, we have our lives to live, and we have to live our lives, amen. But we also have to pray for guidance and order, and we have to pray for balance. Pray for balance in the name of Jesus. We have to pray for balance, even me, because I'm a single parent, ministry, I go to school online, I have a daughter, my son, he's grown, and, and then I'm carrying a lot of people under this ministry, amen. So we have to pray for balance. Amen. We have to pray for balance. I don't know who this is for. I received this for myself. We have to pray for balance. Amen. And balance is not going to come right away. We have to continue to keep praying for balance. And I promise you, you will see things start lining up in order. You will see yourself. I'm using it as a testimony. You'll start seeing yourself, you know, straighten up the house and taking care of stuff that you kind of put off and, and, um, Start getting your house in order, and then you're, you know, starting wanting to, you know, eat right and start wanting to uh, read your word more. And I'm not saying you don't. I'm just giving out different things, amen. And then God will start dealing with you, and then, you know, you'll start making more time for the Lord. And then, you know, God will just start setting things in order. Whatever's just in your life, you, you know, God will start setting things in order, amen. There's nothing wrong with balance, amen. You know, because we got to have a balance of the world when we out here living our lives. And we got to have a balance in the spirit realm. Amen. Because we want God to flow all the way through our lives. Amen. 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 And I want you all to know that I thank you all for following this ministry. Amen. It's just my heart's desire to help people. I always been my heart's desire to help people. Y'all wouldn't believe the many attacks that I receive just by me helping people. Even when I have my children with me and we go out and we feed the homeless people. I even have pastors come up against me because I have my babies with me and we feed homeless people. I mean, you know, it's just, it's, it's really sad, but I'm not really focused on that. You know, the Lord got me blocked from all of that and just focused on what he told me to do because there's so many people in need. It's so many people in need in this hour. Amen. And when you feel the pulling and the gudging of the Lord, you feel him pulling on you. Amen. To do what needs to be done. So many people are in need. Amen. And I'm just thankful to just to be a vessel that God want to use in this hour to pour out what he put in me. Amen. Because I had to pay a high price for what he's given me. And it's not meant for me to hawk it all and be selfish. I want to pour it out and give it to whoever's willing to receive. Amen. You know, even people that come up against me, I'll be wanting to help. And God has changed my heart about that. And man, he's changing my heart about that. You know, someone don't don't want to receive, you know, we have to pray for them and let them go. Because if we don't, that'll begin that'll begin to be a hindrance, uh, a stopping and block. And we don't need no more stopping and blocks. We deal with enough stopping and blocks from day to day, going through different tasks of life and going through different attacks. And man, that's the stopping and block that we all have to deal with. But we don't have to accept it because God has given us the word to come up against that. I hope that I was able to help everybody here on Periscope. Amen. I promise you this was not, I didn't plan this. I just happened to be sitting in my car. My daughter, she went shopping to get some stuff. Amen. And I was just looking at the rain here in Louisville, Kentucky and looking at the storm. And I just want to let you all know, even though the storm may be, uh, wavering in your life and it's worn and it's wearing and it's, and it's just it's just spinning all out of control and and just the, the wind the breeze the snow the, the just the the wind of the storm the heaviness of the storm you know it's not easy just remember that God is your anchor and since C49 I hope that you receive the instructions from the Lord amen God is going to detox your body but you have to be in position and start reading those healing scriptures and listen to those healing scriptures in your ears. 
start researching about the different prayers of healing. If you don't know any, email me and I send you some. Email. Amen. And just have that circling around your house. And things like that. And speak those things as not as though they were. Start speaking healing. Amen. And instantly you will start seeing the healing in your body. And Taya, um, you was telling me about your father. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. That's good, um, golden lamp of oil. That's good. That's good. Because usually, if one person is having something going on in their body, that means that the body of Christ, that because we all connected to the body of Christ, that means we all need some form of healing in our bodies. That's what they mean. That's what they mean. Amen. And I most definitely will be praying. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, she's on it. She's on it. Golden level oil, she is on it. Amen. She is tuned to the spirit. Lord, we thank you for this woman of God. Father, we pray for healing in her body in the name of Jesus. Because I've been going through some things in my body. That's how I know. Amen. That a couple of people, if not a lot of people in the body of Christ is in need of healing in their body. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for healing. Amen. We pray for healing in the organs, Father God. We pray for healing in kidneys, Father God. We all need a detox in our body in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for a detox right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Help us, Father God. Help us. Give us the healing that we need, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you and we honor you, Father God. In the name name of Jesus, Lord. We praise your name right now, Father God. And we end up going to the bathroom a lot. Don't be surprised if you end up going to the bathroom a lot, because it could be God detoxing your body. Amen. Because we just prayed about this healing. Amen. We don't know how God is going to move. We don't know how God is going to move. But I do to hear the Spirit of the Lord telling me to tell somebody. Amen. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But I do hear the Spirit of the Lord telling me to tell somebody, just receive him. Uh-huh. Don't be surprised. Start having to use the bathroom a lot or, or going through, you know, different changes in your body. Because the Lord has spoke this to Sissy, but I'm just releasing it in the atmosphere now. Since you said that you're dealing with the same thing. Because I've been going through stuff in my body. So God is going to release healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray for healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. The instructions that I gave 6049, I feel like we all need to do this because I've done this many a times in my life. Amen. Get those healing scriptures. If you got to write it down, make copies of it, read it. You know, just, just make that your daily breakfast in the morning. Reading them healing scriptures and praying. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Because I'm learning from you all too. I'm learning from you all too. And when I get home, I, I started praying an hour a day because I need to increase my prayer. Um, I will be praying for you all in the name of Jesus. Because I was praying, I heard healing. And I didn't know it was other people on here that was um, going through the same thing with their body. Amen. So we just pray for healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. And just play the recap of this um, broadcast so y'all can get the instructions from the Lord when I was telling Sissy 45 about reading about healing scriptures and things like that. Amen. I hope that helped everybody. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. If you want to follow this ministry, amen. Healing in your lungs, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, a hundred beasts needs healing in the lungs so we pray father god that you will build up the oxygen that you will restore the lungs father god if anything that's going on in the lungs we come up against it in the name of jesus we come up against the fiery darts in the name of jesus try to attack their lungs in the name of jesus that you restore restore his lungs in the name of jesus father we pray in the name of jesus you begin to detox the body of your people amen do a work in the spirit realm, Father God. Because even when we sleep, God, we believe that you're going to do a work in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my Lord. Amen. Praise God. Confirmation. Amen. Amen. And then a lot of times, too, we have to, you know, fast, too. 
I'm not saying that we all have to do a great big fast. Amen. I'm not saying that we got to do a great big fast. What I like to do, because this is what God has given me. And I shared this when I was pastoring in my house. And the Lord is going to, um, I'm about to be in a position of looking for my own church building. Because I've been preaching in my house in different places. And I will talk about that later. Um, when you begin to do a fast and prayer, okay, if you want to, you can start off with two hours. Two hours. No food, just drink water and read and pray. And if you want to eat after that, you can. You know, and just try to stay away from sweets. You know, your first day of fasting, try to stay away, you know, from things, amen, that you're going to be faithful to. Like, for example, no sweets. You know, no sweets. Just fast two hours a day and reading and praying, amen. And just start off three days, two hours a day. Reading and praying, you know, and seeking the Lord. And while you read the prayer, start reading about healing. Start praying about your healing. Two hours a day. If three days, if three days a week is too hard, try off two days a week. Start off small. Start off small. Okay? Start off small. Just make a commitment to yourself. Be like, Lord, I'm going to fast for two weeks. Two days a week. Two hours a day. I'm going to spend time with you. If you're not able to do it in the morning, do it before you go to bed. And then after you did that two hours for the day, then, you know, go back to, you know, eating. Just, you know, limited sweets. Just stick with that. Just give an example. You pray and you ask God how you should fast and pray. I'm just giving you an example how I started. And as and as you start growing in your fasting and praying, then you can add more days to that. Amen. Amen. Joe 1 16, Father God, is praying for deliverance. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for deliverance in this person's life in the name of Jesus. We pray for healing and we pray for deliverance. And we pray that everybody on Periscope will receive the detox in their body in the name of Jesus. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. We need your healing and your deliverance power in the name of Jesus. We pray that the anointing of God will flow. In the name of Jesus, in the lives of your people. Hallelujah. And as they go through their healing and deliverance, we pray for peace. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cover their minds with the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Every attack, we come up against it. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. We thank you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your healing. We thank you for your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, God. Many people on Periscope is in need of healing and deliverance, Father God, in this hour, Father God. Hallelujah. When the testimony start flowing in, email me in the name of Jesus. Email me, SylviaGooseby.gmail.com. My email address is at the beginning of this profile page. Amen. I want to hear... I want to hear your testimonies because I'm going to be praying for everybody on Periscope when I get off of here. I'm not done yet. I'm going to take y'all to, to my prayer room and I'm going to lay up before God and pray for everybody that's on Periscope. It would be nice if everybody could email me. Amen. So I can lay it out before God in prayer and lay hands on your prayer request and allow the Lord to work. If, if everybody can email me, please email me. Amen. So I can go ahead and lay this out before God in my prayer room. Amen. Because I have a prayer wall at home and I got so many prayer requests of things that I need God to do in my life. Things that I've been dealing with for us people. And I'm telling you, God has moved. God has moved. God to move people out of my way. All types of stuff. Amen. 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 Someone want parole. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I hear your Holy Ghost. God will set the captives free. God will set the captives free. I just heard that. God will set the captives free. In the name of Jesus. God will set the captive free. Amen. Who the Son sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah. If you believe that this person, amen, it want to have parole, amen, stand in the gap for them. Stand in the gap for them. Amen. 
And I pray before they're supposed to get out, they will receive Jesus Christ and the late Lord and Savior, and they will not go back. They will not go back to Egypt. There's nothing in Egypt. Hallelujah. And when I speak of Egypt, I'm talking about Egypt for us, the world. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God that he should be ready to get out then. Amen. Amen. Whoever this person is, tell them to continue to keep seeking the Lord. Amen. Tell them to continue to keep seeking the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And walk baby steps. I hear the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you, Joe 116, have him to walk baby steps with him. Baby steps with the Lord. The Lord will meet him where he is. Amen. 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 If there's anybody on here, um, I just saw that somebody wanted um, deliverance from sexual immorality. We come up against that in the name of Jesus. We come up against those demons of sexual immorality in the name of Jesus. Those ain't nothing but spirits. We bind them demons up in the name of Jesus. Because even in that, Satan will try to use that to draw you away from the Lord. Amen. Praise God. If you want to email me, Joe 116, you can. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for those that are struggling with sexual sins or sexual immorality. First, I pray for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Cast those demons off and awaken them in the name of Jesus. Father, give them the power and the strength to sustain themselves into marriage. Hallelujah. Father, only you can help us sustain ourselves in the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, give them the power and the anointing to sustain themselves in the Lord. In the Lord, praise God. In the Lord, Father, even in your word, God, you said those that's weak in the flesh, hallelujah. God said to be married because it's better to marry than to burn, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray, Father God, that the power of conviction will find, fall upon this man of God's wife. God don't believe in cheating. And I pray that the power of conviction will fall upon his wife, amen, for cheating. Amen. She's breaking covenant vow when she's cheating against a spouse. Amen. That's the worst thing you could do is break covenant vow with the Lord. So I pray that the power of conviction will fall upon your wife, heart, and that she will stop cheating in the name of Jesus. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you, man, to God, pray. God say he wants you to pray. Amen. Amen. He wants you to pray. In the name of Jesus. I pray for 100 Beats family. Hallelujah. Whatever needs that his family is in need of, God. In the name of Jesus. Your family needs to be delivered, man of God. I hear 100 Beats. I hear deliverance that needs to take place in your family. Hallelujah. I pray for deliverance upon his family. In the name of Jesus. If there's many in his family that will have Jesus Christ. I pray God that you will set it up. They will receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you God. God is stirring. My Lord. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I can't see no picture or anything. Amen. Amen. The Lord told me some deliverance needs to take place in your family. Amen. I just pray for deliverance for your family. Amen. Amen. God is great. Father, in the name of Jesus, you're praying for academics and financial blessings, Father God. Make a way when it seems to be no way, Father God, for her. And her academics and her finances, Lord. Hallelujah. And same for you, God is great. Start reading those scriptures about finances in the name of Jesus. Start reading and declaring money. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Start praying about your finances. Get those scriptures pertaining to finances. Amen. Praise God. Because God has provided a, a cattle on a thousand hill. Hallelujah. We got to declare the word of God over our lives. We have to speak the word. If you don't know it by heart or by mind, get those scriptures, amen, and start writing it down and start speaking those scriptures, amen. Whatever it is that you need, healing, deliverance, get those scriptures, start quoting those scriptures, amen, amen, amen. Once you receive the Holy Spirit, tie your form. The Lord, he's going to give you a clear direction and in increasing your faith. Amen. All of that will be boosted up. Amen. As you receive the Holy Spirit. Because the Lord is going to give you confidence as you begin to start praying about the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because my daughter, matter of fact, I have to tell you this. My daughter is starting to pray about the Holy Spirit. She once had the Holy Spirit, but she strayed away a little bit. So the Lord told me to tell my daughter to pray about the Holy Spirit for seven days. Hallelujah. 
That's what I told my daughter. And, and right now she's on her third day praying about the Holy Spirit. Once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, woman of God, your faith is going to increase. Your discernment is going to increase. And the Lord is going to give you a sense of direction. Okay, once you receive it. But right now, I pray in the name of Jesus for your direction. And you pray as well that God would give you a sense of direction now. You don't really have to wait till the Holy Spirit comes in order to pray for a sense of direction. Begin to start praying for it now. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I hope I helped everyone today. Praise God. Amen. I pray that everyone received instructions from the Lord. Amen. Just continue to do what the Lord has given me for you all to do. Amen. If you have any email, any questions, just email me, Sylvia Goosby, um, gmail.com. Amen. Amen. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Just follow those instructions from the Lord, Sissy, and everybody. And I promise you, you're going to start seeing the increase. And Sissy, you already knew from the last time. Amen. Amen. Thank you, woman of God. Sister, you had told me from last time that your um, kidney count had went up to two points from last time that we had talked. Amen. That's how I know God is working, but you got to stand fast. You got to stay on it. Amen. Because, see, when you're close to your blessing, that's when the enemy wants to strike. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I enjoy you all. Praise God. I thank you all for joining today. Amen. And if you can, please email me. Okay? So I can go ahead and print off these emails. And I'm going to take this in my prayer room. And pray over everybody. I'm going to lay hands over your requests. That's what God has given me. I want to lay hands on your requests. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. And those that's new on here, follow me. Amen. Follow me. And yes, I'm yet praying for Donald Trump. I'm praying for him. Amen. Because um, Hillary he needs deliverance. <laughs> he, he he needs some serious deliverance. Amen. Hillary Clinton is going to run So, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for these people. Lord, we thank you for your healing and your awesome power. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I might be back on here tonight. I'm not sure. But I'm going to give you all... My opinion, I don't think Donald Trump will be president. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I'm tell you this. Don't worry about that. He got to get through God. He got to get through God. Because God go put who he want in that office. And right now, mm-mm. Donald Trump will not be president. This is what I believe. He's not. He's not. He's not. Just pray that God put the right person in there. Pray that God put the right person in there. Okay? Pray that God put the right person in there. Amen? Because it ain't nothing but the enemy trying to put fear in people through that man. And it's wrong. It's all he's trying to do is put fear in people. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I always pray the Lord's will. I don't pray the way of the world. I pray according to the spirit of God. Amen. But anyway, I want to thank you all for joining. And email me if you can. I want to receive everybody's emails if you want prayer. Because I'm about to lay hands on everything. On your prayer request. Amen. Because I felt the strong healing and then golden apple oil. She was um, dealing with some stuff and different other people. And even myself start dealing with some things in our bodies. Amen. And God's going to heal these bodies in the name of Jesus. But the Lord has let me know that he's not done with y'all yet. So if you can, please go ahead and email me. I'm going to give you all up to Friday. I'm going to give you all up to Friday to email me. Okay. And I'm going to print it off and I'm going to lay it out on my altar. And I'm going to pray. Amen. So, Lord, we just thank you. We just honor you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, you sit high and you look low, and we thank you. We thank you for those that's on Periscope. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the followers on Periscope, Father God. You get the glory for it all, God. I thank you, Father God, that we can come together and agree 
amen, and, and agree in one thing that we all love and serve Jesus Christ. And we all seeking Jesus Christ on different levels that we are on. So I thank you, Father God, and I honor you. And I give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you too. Amen. Make sure you email me, a woman of God. Make sure you email me in the name of Jesus. And I will keep you all in my prayers. Amen. So I want to thank you all. I might be back tonight. Amen. Um, and keep Chocolate 45 in your prayers. Keep her and her cousin, um, Jesus girl, in your prayers. A couple of other girls that's following me on um, Periscope. Amen. For some reason, a lot of people's under attack. Because I know I was under attack Sunday. But the Lord told me the war was over. I had to war in the spirit like for an hour. You know. Um, that's when I have to close the door and put the put my war boots on and just go to war. Just go to war. I mean, I go to war to the point to where I'm sweating. I mean, I, I, I don't play. I don't play when it comes to the enemy. I will fight. I will fight and fight and them demons be leaving. I'll be feeling them leaving when they try to attack my body. I feel them leave. That's how deep my spiritual warfare be. And I'm glad that the Lord has taught me how to fight in the spirit. Amen. Amen. And soon once I get my church up and going, amen, I'm going to be teaching others how to fight in the spirit because we need to we need to know. We need to know how to fight in the spirit. And I'm teaching my daughter to how to fight in the spirit. Amen. Everybody needs to know how to fight in the spirit. Amen. To get them demons away in the name of Jesus. But anyway, I'll be here all day. Amen. Thank y'all for joining. My uh, website is www.godisthelightoutreachministries.com. Amen. If you want to know more about this ministry or email me, um, Sylvia Goosby gmail.com. And I also have a Facebook page. Sylvia Goosby. Um, that's my Facebook name, Sylvia Goosby. But anyway, y'all have a good day. And Doobie 1947, thank you all for joining. Amen. Amen, really? Okay. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Well, y'all have y'all a good day. Amen. Good night, whatever time zone that you in. And I want to, okay. Okay. That's fine. If you want to visit me, that's fine. We can set that up. It's a couple of other women um, that wants to visit too. Amen. And uh, once I get everything set up, I will um, let everybody know where they can uh, meet me. Because I will be going to Florida here. June the 17th on vacation and I will be doing some outreach yeah we can have a meet and greet one day amen when anyway you all have a good day and like I said I might be back on tonight I'm not sure but I'm real real really really feeling in my spirit to get these emails I'm going to print them off and I'm going to lay them out before God and I'm going to lay hands because God's going to move God's going to move God is going to move. Amen. And God's been moving in a couple other people's lives in our own uh, periscope right now. So anyway, thank you. And y'all have a blessed day in the Lord. And remember, we believe in winning souls to Christ, not being led by the ways of man, but by the spirit of the living God. God bless.